Today there are 19 universities across Afghanistan. The American University is one of the smallest, as well as being the country's only private, not-for-profit institution of higher education. In uh, 2002, when I came back to Kabul, there was no higher education. Only Kabul Medical University was open, and the Taliban used it for their own purposes. Driven by a desire to modernize Afghanistan's higher education system, Dr. Sharif Fayez, a former minister for higher education, founded the American University of Afghanistan, which enrolled its first students two years ago. Studying Bachelor's of Business Administration, and I will be making my own Islamic bank in Afghanistan because, uh, as such, there is no Islamic bank in Afghanistan. Since I've been studying, I just uh, uh, we established our own company, uh, which is a company providing some land survey and geotechnical investigation. I hope to apply what I've learned in this university in order to work in the Afghan government, hopefully rebuilding the country. The main building of the American University was once used by the Soviets for military teachings, but just across the way, a new site's under construction costing nearly half a million US dollars. Dozens of local Afghan tradesmen are helping to build seven new classrooms, a computer lab, a science lab, a new library, and of course, a toilet block. There are around 400 students here at the American University of Afghanistan studying subjects ranging from biology and maths to information technology and humanities. Gentlemen, listen carefully. Every single attempt to insert some religious element into this constitution has failed. During their reign, the Taliban led a war against education, books were burnt, and it was forbidden for females to go to school. We um, used a sort of affirmative action to allow all girls in, 2000, uh, in 2002 to enter our universities without any national entrance examination, without any, any requirement. So the number of girls uh, dramatically increased to about 15% of the students in uh, Afghan higher education. Just over 30% of intake at this university are female, but gender hasn't been the only barrier to students trying to get an education in Afghanistan. We've had our difficulties in making sure that we had enough textbooks. We've finally solved that problem to a certain extent, and we have many students here who have overcome tremendous hurdles to get an education. They have been persistent, through great difficulties and have finally gotten to the point where they're here at the American University and they are not going to waste this opportunity. So what now for the future of education in Afghanistan? With security and uh, stability, uh, education will progress, will make a very significant progress. However, the government should uh, make education a priority. You need an education czar for this country. If you don't have education reform, if you don't have education quality and education quantity, what will happen to the youth of this country? It's hoped the new site here at the American University will be completed by the end of summer. There'll be no time for downing tools though, as work then begins on another new campus to hold an extra 1,200 students. Mel Preen, NATO Channel TV.